Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and today we will discuss something very important. We will discuss the connection of the sign Sagittarius to rebellion because Saturn is also in Sagittarius now. It is going to be in Mula Nakshatra for the last 28 days. Yes, yes, yes. November 28th. It is moving out of Mula Nakshatra and it is going to Purvashara. So I made the videos on Saturn's transit into Mula and Purvashara. So if you have not watched it, then please watch it. It is there in my channel. And with this, we will also discuss the story of Prahlad Maharaj. We all know the story of Prahlad Maharaj. He comes in the Shrimad Bhagavatam again and again and again and again. But this is something very important. We will see how how actually he was very rebellious. All right. So we will see that today. And that will also help us to see this this transit of Saturn in Mula Nakshatra and Purvashara and Uttarashara and whichever Nakshatra Saturn goes because these are all in the sign of Sagittarius. All right. So if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up at the end after watching and share it with somebody who is interested to know more about Sagittarius or somebody who has his or her lagna or the moon or the sun or any other focal planet in the sign of sagittarius okay and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him just like pralad maharaj found okay so now if you see the zodiac signs the the photos the animals or the the designs which represent the zodiac signs they are also very important for us to know so generally they say that there are two signs which are very rebellious which is the first sign they say rebellious the first sign they say is scorpio and the other one is they say that aquarius why do they say that these two signs are rebellious because they do not follow any rules okay but let us see what actual rebellion is but because if you uh, see the symbols for these two then you will see that uh, Scorpio is the scorpion and Aquarius is what Aquarius is a man who is giving water to somebody yes or liquid or anything you can say like that of course there are many uh, different meanings and variations this is something in layman's terms but if you see the sign of Sagittarius I had said this in an interview with Nicole Brenny last year in her channel listen to the stars so i thought i can make a video on this topic altogether itself so if you see the sign sagittarius it is a it is a person who is about to shoot something have you seen the sign sagittarius dhanu rashi yes the person is about to shoot something it means that the person is it's like saying that the person is denying some kind of an authority the person is saying that I will not follow you instead I will oppose you because you don't shoot somebody who you follow right you only shoot somebody who you oppose who you do not believe in but there's a con contradiction here because this is Sagittarius is the sign of faith belief my god so confusing <laughs> yes Sagittarius is the sign of faith it's the sign of belief but it is the sign which not only shows belief in anything, but at a higher octave, it shows belief in belief and faith in God. We see the story of Prahlad Maharaj. We all know Prahlad Maharaj is the son of Dash Dash. Write in the comments if you know the name of the f that <laughs> demon of uh, whose son was the great Prahlad Maharaj. So Prahlad Maharaj, his father, was doing uh, tapasya penance in the forest and when his wife uh, i mean kayad who was pregnant was the mother of pralad maharaj then the devatas they decided that if the father itself is so dangerous who is going on terrorizing the entire universe and now he's doing penance and god knows what will happen after he gets uh, benedictions and boons from brahma shiva and all these other uh, higher demigods what will be the situation of the sun okay so because demigods uh, they were very much concerned for the welfare of the universe so then what happened is they decided we will kill his son in the womb itself all right in his wife's womb we'll kill the son and then they abducted kayadhu kayadhu was the mother of lalad maharaj and they indra tried to kill kayadhu but then what happened 
Narad Muni, the great sage, appeared. And Narad Muni said to Indra that, Oh, Indra, you are about to do a very, very, very great blunder. You will never get away with this if you kill him because you are about to kill somebody who is very elevated in spiritual consciousness. He is a great devotee of Lord Vishnu. He is a Paramhamsa. Paramhamsa means one who is very, very, very elevated spiritually. He is totally realized in the conclusion of all the scriptures and all the knowledge of the Vedas, Puranas, Upanishads, whatever you say, or the Srimad Bhagavatam. So, please do not kill this person. He is not a demon. He is a very, very, very great soul. And Prahlad Maharaj, for your information, is also one of the 12 Mahajans. <coughs> yes, Yamaraj says this in the pastime of Ajamil to his to the Yamadutas. Swambhu Narada Shambhu Kumaro Kapilo Manu Prahlado Janako Bhishma Balirvaya Sakhi Vayam In that the name of the 12 Mahajans come, 12 great personalities. I also have a video on 12 Mahajans. Just go and type M-A-H-A-J-A-N-S. You will find the video. Okay. So, uh, Prahlad Maharaj is also one of the 12 Mahajans. Mahajans are the ones who are very great personalities who are totally realized in the conclusion of the scriptures and they are authorities for us to take guidance from their life, their stories and their examples. When we are in trouble or when we are in confusion, what to do? Okay, so he's a very great personality. And then Indra understood that Prahlad Maharaj is a great soul and he circumambulated Kayadhu many 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 times as they said uh, to go round the temple they said to do Pradakshina so that they did that or Parikrama as you say and then Indra left for the heavens and then what happened Narad Muni took Kayadhu into his uh, to his ashram and there he started uh, speaking spiritual top topics uh, he started sharing knowledge with Kayadhu and by that, when Prahlad Maharaj was in the womb of his mother, he learned so much that by the time he came out of his mother's womb, he was he was a he was a he was perfected. He was a perfected being actually. So then, what happened is one day, uh, when Prahlad Maharaj was growing up, he was a small kid. So then, the guru of the demons, as we all know, what is his name? Shukracharya. Shukracharya was appointed by his father <laughs> should i say the name of his father okay no problem i will say it hirana kashyapu his father appointed shukracharya and his sons okay shukracharya son chanda and amarka to teach pralad maharaj okay so then what happened pralad maharaj went to chanda and amarka institute of technology yes those days also there were colleges and institutes of technology so in that institute of technology he not only learned technology he also learned politics diplomacy and all these things so then what happened is in that institute he was taught that okay see he is your friend and he is your enemy okay demigods the devatas are your janma jat chatru which means they are your birth right rivals they are your enemies they want to kill you they want to destroy you and these demons, these Rakshasas, these Daityas, these Danavas, they are your friends. Okay, This was what uh, was taught to Prahlad Maharaj. And then Prahlad Maharaj, because he was already so elevated. Yes, because, uh, because in the Bhagavad Gita there is this shloka. Na, Suchinam Srimatam Gehe Yogo Bhashto Vijayate. That a learned soul sees everything equally. He does not, uh, he sees an elephant, a lady, a man or whoever, that person is a dog. Everybody equally, which means for a great soul who is spiritually elevated, he or she will not see the body. He, he or she will only see the soul. So, Prahlad Maharaj was astonished when he heard that there are enemies and friends in this world. Prahlad Maharaj said, no, there are no enemies. Everybody is a friend. <laughs> And then Shanda and Amarka, they were, they were like, no, 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 the demigods, devatas are your enemies, they want to kill you, blah, 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 and see, these are your friends, they are sitting with you. And what used to happen is, when they used to give breaks between the class, then in those short time periods, Prahlad Maharaj used to <laughs> give his own coaching sessions there. 
<laughs> in the in the uh, school itself inside the school in the vicinity so then what happened was prahlad maharaj started telling to his friends oh you know actually uh, there are no friends there are no enemies everybody is a friend yes sama sarveshu bhuteshu mad bhaktim labhate param that is what krishna lord krishna also says in the gita that brahma bhuta prasanna atma na so chati na kankshati in that shloka it's there that a great soul sees everybody equally so he said why in the universe why the hell are you making these jurisdictions he's your friend he's your enemy why are you creating quarrel why are you creating distress why are you creating any animosity no it is not good everybody in this world is a spirit soul and everybody is your friend vasudeva kutumbakam as it is said in the sanatan dharma that everybody is your family member this whole entire universe is like your family yes like you have your mother your father so pralad maharaj was preaching that knowledge and he was also speaking that god is there inside your heart as lord krishna says ishwara sarva bhuta nam hriday se arjuna tishthati he says i am situated in the heart of every living entity so pralad maharaj was speaking the knowledge of the gita of the shrimad bhagavatam to his colleagues my god to his colleagues or whatever you call them na classmates or schoolmates so then what happened was these his friends who were also daityas were asuras they started their hearts started getting transformed that is the quality of a great soul that he has the power to transform millions and billions and trillions of people he said it is said one great soul who is spiritually elevated in his true consciousness has the power to liberate one one brahmanda which is one one universe so that's the power of a great soul so what to speak of pralad maharaj who is one of the 12 mahajans so then what happened was he was going on transforming these uh, his um, friends in the school and whenever he used to get time he used to talk of spirituality that's another symptom of a great soul that his love for god is uh, overflowing so much that he cannot stop uh, he cannot just sit idle you know he will al- always keep talking of god just like a man and a woman when they are away from each other they will only keep thinking about each other they will keep talking they will keep discussing about each other with their friends or with their family members yes oh if my husband would be there he would do like this if my wife would be there she would do like this so that is how a great soul also keeps talking about god that is one of the other symptoms of spiritual elevation so pralad maharaj uh, then what happened his friends they started changing their mind <laughs> and then shanda and amar kadav were totally frustrated and they went to their father shukrachari and told that we can't teach this child <laughs> he knows much more than us and if we keep him in the ashram then there will be nobody left in the ashram because everybody will go with him and everybody will say no there are no enemies there are no friends demigods are your friends and demons are also your friends okay and then shukrachari was frustrated he was so angry he went to his father hiranyakashipu and then he told my dear king hiranyakashipu this is your great soul son pralad maharaj <laughs> but it seems he is not in line with what we teach he is not very happy there he is he is uh, speaking things which we do not agree with so then hiranyakashipu tells pralad maharaj that oh my dear son what do you think what's the problem <laughs> he said Prada he asked Pralad Maharaj what is the best thing that you learnt in school and then Pralad Maharaj says Vishnu is the supreme personality of god and Vishnu is all in all Vishnu is here Vishnu is there he is inside you he is inside me all the energies of the universe come from lord Vishnu even you yourself get all your energies to kill and destroy others from lord Vishnu itself himself and he behaves bit sarcastically he says in the beginning oh best of the demons erna <laughs> kashyap if you read the shrimad bhagavatam so there he uh, shows that actually how he was uh, rebelling against the mainstream education system which was there which used to teach him politics that how to kill the dem- uh, the demigods the uh, the devatas and how to do politics how to pull them down how to lift yourself up okay so this connection with pralad maharaj can always be seen and after that hiranyakashipu tried so much to kill pralad maharaj altogether but he failed in all of his attempts and ultimately 
on the day of Narsing Chaturdashi, Lord Narsing Dev appeared and he ripped apart Hiranagashapu's intestines. <laughs> we all know that pastime. And then Prahlad Maharaj was liberated from all his suffering. Of course, he never suffered because, I mean, externally he was just suffering. But internally he was always fixed in God. So, uh, the sign Sagittarius is connected to rebellion. So, now because Saturn is in Sagittarius, it is a very good time to rebel against the things which the mainstream society has been telling us. Like, for example, what does the mainstream society tell us? The mainstream society tells us. Now, rebel doesn't mean that you go and uh, you go and put a march against somebody. You first have to rebel against yourself. All right? The poison is inside you. If you cannot rebel against yourself, you will not be able to rebel against anybody. What has the mainstream society said? That you will be happy if you if you just have sex. You will just, uh, just eat meat. You just take wine. You just uh, have entertainment. Yes, go on watching things like IPL. Just go on watching cricket matches. Football. I am in the land of football. Germany. <laughs> Then baseball, yes, cinemas, movies, people are hugging each other, kissing each other, embracing each other. They're doing all these things and then they that is their projection, you see. Unless you do all these things, you will not be happy. I get more than 10 mails every day, I guess. May not be 10, but near about that number that, oh, all my friends are happily situated in relationships. When is the day going to come when I will be in a relationship? My God. Because people think that, Unless you are in a relationship with somebody, you cannot be happy in this world. Happiness is only for those people who are in relationships. But then there are people who are in relationships. They are mailing me that, oh, you know, I'm in a relationship, but I want to get into a relationship with somebody else. I'm bored with this person. You see, it's like uh, they say, no, the great dog business. It's like the dog business, business of the dogs. Today you are with this person, then you don't like that. Then you go, go with somebody else. This is how dogs behave, right? And then wine, 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 and wine. Yes, yes. <laughs> Let's go here. Go, go. Uh, yes. <laughs> Goa to Gaya to Gaya. <laughs> okay, so these things are there. So materialistic civilization has put so many coverings around our consciousness. The entire civilization, the entire advertisement industry is working on one principle how to create a sense of deficiency inside you yes should i repeat how to create a sense of deficiency deficiency means when a lady who is looking good or she is not looking that great or however she is looking she looks at her commercial you know oh apply this cream here you will become more fair so then what happens immediately there's a click oh that means i am not beautiful you know that means unless i put that cream I will not be happy because my happiness is connected to my skin color. See, that is how they have destroyed you. The whole life you will spend putting cosmetics, chemicals. Yes, yes, yes. I am talking of ladies and gents also. Yes. <laughs> fair and lovely, fair and white. Yes, so many uh, creams. Men, or men also put these days. What to speak of women. And then there are so many other things. Deodorants. They, are, they will put... Uh, uh, what, what this in a conditioner these that wh whatever it is I'm, I'm i mean i'm not saying don't put so for shampoo i'm not putting saying all those things whatever is required necessary for your body to be functioning well that you can do and that you should do you should keep the body clean but wasting hundreds and thousands and millions of dollars the way it is done in america the way it is done in europe and the way it is done in india also these days you uh, that is what the civilization has done they have put all this poisonous veins into your mind that unless you do this you will not be happy the other day i was seeing a photo in facebook that uh, they were giving uh, there was a list and there were 10 or 15 activities in that so they, they said that uh, give marks according to that so if you have done Suppose there are 15 activities and if you have done 15 activities, then your score is 15 out of 15. Okay. And the first activity there was, oh, if you have had sex, then I think the second was had sex in public. So that's what having sex in public is like what you're behaving like dogs, basically. So then this, uh, that shloka is coming, you know, punarapi jananam, punarapi maranam. 
<laughs> yeah, so that is what is happening. You see, so people are so much obsessed with all this pornography. They are watching. Uh, they may not be watching gross porn directly, but then they will watch all these sub porn things. Yes, so many people they are watching all this. So that is what the mainstream media has told us that if you do not have all these materialistic pleasures, you will never be happy in this world. You cannot be happy. It is impossible actually. So this is the conception of happiness. That is the definition of happiness. I would say that's a wrong definition of happiness which we have. The true definition of success or happiness has to come from the scriptures because in scriptures there is a shloka which is dharmam to sakshat bhagavat pranitam. Should I repeat dharmam to sakshat bhagavat pranitam which means that dharma has to be defined by God. Bhagavat pranitam means nobody else can define what dharma is. So if you have to know what will give you happiness, you have to go and read the scriptures like the Gita or the Srimad Bhagavatam. Otherwise, you will still be caught up in this junction, you know. Oh, today I want this, tomorrow I want that, today I have had a divorce, I have had a breakup, I will go on with somebody else. Yes, there are many people I know, they are already in a relationship and they are on, and they, they, are, they are entertaining members of the opposite sex. They are going on dating around. I know people, so many people these days. So basically, they are behaving like uh, prostitutes. You see, they have become prostitutes. That is what is the sign of Gemini. Yes, Gemini shows prostitution. So we all know which planet gets exalted in Gemini. Yes, yes, yes. It's the king of all. <laughs> Rahu gets exalted there. Now you understand why Rahu gets exalted in Gemini. Because it is prostitution. Basically, Gemini is all about prostitution. Yes, we all know that. So people are behaving like that. We are, we have we see that time and again in the society. They may not. They may be. Uh, they may be having a white collar. They are very nice. They are very decent. But internally, their mind is like that. Many people we see in the society today. And when we stay with them, we also get degraded. It's like saying in Hindi, na, "Main to dubunga, tujhe bhi le dubunga." I will go down, and I will take you also down. So we need to safeguard ourselves. From the association of these degraded people, we should not associate with those who are indulging in sinful activities. Otherwise, we will also degrade ourselves. Even if you have a friend, how much ever he is close, how much ever she is close, if she is drinking or indulging in all these nonsense activities, do not stay with that person. Throw that person out of your life. Kick him out. No, no. <laughs> Don't kick him out. <laughs> Try to distance yourself from that person. Okay. He may be your friend. You can occasionally meet him or her, but you have to understand if you are having spiritual goals in your mind, that person will not give you fulfillment. Meeting that person will degrade your consciousness. So we have to give up the association of that person internally. Externally, we don't have to stop meeting the person. We have to minimize externally, but internally we have to understand till the time he is like that or she is like that. We cannot associate much with that person. Otherwise, he or she is like a magnet. They will pull us zoop, like this. And then one day, you will also end up mailing some counselor or some astrologer. Oh, I have become an addict, blah, 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 this, that. Okay. So, the rebellion has to start inside of us. And Saturn is in Mula Nakshatra. And it will be in Sagittarius for another one or two years. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know till when 2020 beginning or around that time till that time Saturn is in SAG I guess so till that time whenever Saturn is in SAG irrespective of the nakshatra it is a very good time that we actually work on ourselves and we try to improve our habits and we tell the society no I am not going to listen to what you say I will only listen to the word of the rishis the saints and the divine scriptures only they will give us fulfillment in the long run okay and this has to be understood in the broader context so now somebody will write in the comments oh what you are saying is not true my friends are great they are good they are fantastic well if that is what you want you can always write okay i have no problem i just wanted to uh, help whoever wants to know something okay regarding this okay until next time if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know the sign of sagittarius and what else should I say? If you want a reading, then please go to my website. You'll find the link to the 
website in the description section of this video below and if you are new then please subscribe and before i end as i say god is there with you all the time just look to him and hopefully you find him <laughs> you will find him before saturn enters capricorn okay don't worry just change your inner conceptions and read the scriptures and things will be fine okay until next time bye bye see you